What is going on, guys? It's your boy Jay Custer right here from Anime Escape. Uh, I know it's Friday. I was supposed to upload a video yesterday. But, uh, you ever had one of them days you were just like, just F everything? Just like, you know what? Just like, I'm just gonna be lazy all day. I mean, I still did stuff, but, you know. That was pretty much freaking yesterday. I and mean, then literally by the time I remember to do this video, it was three o'clock in the morning, Friday morning. So you get it today. So today we are talking about the notorious, the great one himself from DC. What, you didn't know? It's supposed to be throwing them hands Thursday. So the one person who throws hands like no other not the greatest at throwing hands, but he's resilient. Batman. Yeah, I did that. I'm out of it right now, guys. So yeah, Batman. And the reason why I chose Batman is because Batman is like, he's not underrated when it comes to throwing hands. It's just a simple fact that like, people already know his methods and his ways of just fighting. And it's, it's really crazy because he's not the best fighter in the DC universe. There are like five other people over him. So, but the reason why I chose him instead of one of the other five people is because his unyielding, like, he just doesn't yield at all. He just doesn't stop. Like, even if you like, like, God, this man doesn't stop. Like, it's like a damn bloodhound when it comes to hunting something. He does not stop. It's unrelenting. Even if you break him, even if you like, like wipe his mind, you know, he comes back and then beats you. And it's like, it's the worst part is because like you can beat him the first time, but after that, you're not, you're not, he's, you're not winning again. Like you may be like, oh, I got that W the first time. We're we gonna run around too, see what happens. No, it, it's not. To just put the gloves down and just let it go because it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. And I think the reason why, I think that's one of the reasons why everyone says Batman can beat everybody. It's just, I don't think it's only prep time. I mean, obviously it's prep time too. But like, it's just a man does not stop at all. Like, then it's like, he's only human. He just has money. That's his only, he's not even a superpower. He just has money. He buys gadgets. And, and that's it. Like, he's doesn't have super strength. No super healing, no super speed, no telepathy, no superhuman reflexes. Nothing. Nothing. He's just a human like me and you. I could be Batman. I just ain't got the money. It just... <laughs> I guess it's just the simple fact that this man has went up against people with powers. Gadgets that overwhelm, like people who, I won't say outsmart him, but, um, you know, he's going against people with powers, super strength, super speed, you know, supposedly, supposed to be smarter than him. You know, he, he's, oh my gosh, perfect example. Perfect example of this man is just... Just, just ridiculous. Bane, when he fought Bane. And the only reason why Bane beat him in the comic books and whatnot is because Bane literally planned an entire night of him fighting every villain. Look, every villain in his royal gallery. Bane planned him fighting every villain. And the crazy thing is, he beat him all in one night. And we know Batman's rogue gallery is nothing to laugh at or shake a stick at or anything like that. We know his rose gallery is enormous. So the simple fact he beat his rose gallery in one night and then Bane swoops in and then breaks his back because he's completely lost. Then he heals, comes back, and then beats Bane. So look, look, this man is unyielding. Like, he does not stop. He's... <sighs> he's trained around the world. 
he's a scientist, he's a detective. He's pretty much a damn ninja. And it's like, what do you do when you beat him one time, he comes back? Even if you beat him a second time, which is highly unlikely, but you beat him a second time, he comes back. Fourth, fifth, comes back. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 times, keeps coming back. Eventually you're gonna get tired of fighting this guy. <laughs> but his hands, even though he does not like the whole killing implement, he could easily kill somebody. It's been shown, he's, 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 he's literally, he can kill somebody. Not just with the gadgets, but like hand-to-hand -hand combat. Cause like, in the, was it, there's a clip from there's a clip from uh, Dark Knight. Is it the first Dark Knight or the second Dark Knight? I can't remember. I think it's Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I think it's part two. When he's fighting against the mutant and the mud pit. He is surgical when it comes to throwing hands. Like he's hitting pressure points with like slicing, like cutting at like the right angle to make like a like a wound that doesn't stop bleeding. Like he's he is tactical with it. Like, that's why I say he can kill if he wants to, but it's just that one rule, but he won't. We're going to exclude a few times in the comic books and in the movies where he did kill, but yeah. So, yeah. Batman. Batman. This guy is just a yielding force of nature. Well, that's it, guys. I know it's late. It was kind of runny onish. Why am I throwing words together? That don't make sense. It was kind of a run on. <laughs> but uh, like I said, yeah, it's, it's been, been a uh, taxing a couple of days. But um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. Leave a like. Comment. I do have something. Uh, actually, two things that might be coming up soon that benefits you and me. Uh, I don't want to say anything officially yet, just in case it doesn't come through. But uh, I'm working on something, and it might be the it is gonna benefit you and it's gonna benefit me. So, yeah, I keep your eyes out for that. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Stay true. Stay savage.